How you doing, everybody? Sean O'Kane here with Chip Estimate TV. We're here at the TSMC OIP Forum 2014 at the San Jose Convention Center. My guest today, two gentlemen uh, from Metagraphics, Mr. MBG himself, Michael Bueller Garcia, who's a regular guest with us every year, every year. at OIP, Senior Director of Marketing, Caliber Design Solutions. And Ravi Subramanian, uh, General Manager of Analog Mix Signal Division. Thank you very, very much for uh, joining me today. So, uh, as we were talking about earlier, um, this, this is a pretty cool show. Yeah. And there's a lot of excitement going on, and the, uh, the, the big message is about the ecosystem and collaboration. Over 30 sessions uh, that are pretty packed. Um, uh, so it's, it's it's great. So how how are the mentor tracks going? I think well. So you know, Robbie actually presented in a track, so I'll let him kind of talk about his customer. But in general, what we're seeing over the years, and you're right, we've been doing this every year, is when we first started, we we all had to in the ecosystem had to kind of pull customers in, see if you want to present. Right now, you see a lot of joint presentations, and I think that's why the show's a success. You don't want to have us have sales pitches. Mm -hmm. People want to come in and say, how did somebody use this? How is this a success? Mm -hmm. And that grows the entire ecosystem. So we, all our sessions are joint. We had one with Oracle, one with TSMC, and then Robbie did one with Qualcomm. Right. So each one of them, we're talking about how a customer used the entire ecosystem where mentors products fit in, where TSMC fit in, where other places fit in. Mm -hmm. Because that's what people come to learn about. They want to know how to build things faster. And TSMC is the anchor tenant, mm -hmm. but all of us get to participate. So in that sense, I'd call the show a success. Ravi, would you? Indeed, I think the, the, the if you look at all the sessions, the the crux of, the, of every talk or every presentation is all about how are we going to solve a specific problem in order to be able to get our product out the door. Right. So that was a good segue to into the uh, FinFET uh, uh, technology and the conversation that's dominating OIP here. Can you tell us a little bit about the 16 nanometer FinFET certification for your AFS, the analog fast spice? a platform along with uh, Caliber and Olympus SOC platforms. Maybe you want to talk about the AMS first. Sure. So the uh, 60 nanometer SPICE certification for the analog fast bias platform essentially ensures customers that they're going to be able to start designing circuits and simulating them and being able to count on fast and accurate results mm -hmm. from the analog fast bias platform. So this includes the analog fast bias tool mm -hmm. as well as AFS Mega. And uh, what is also included in this certification is the Eldo tool. Uh, fundamentally, this covers analog, RF, mixed signal, custom digital, and memory, mm -hmm. and covering pre and post layout simulation, as well as device noise analysis. So many of those second and third order effects, which are becoming first order effects now at 16, can be accurately captured. Right. Uh, I should pass on to Michael now. He can talk about the uh, um, physical verification side. Okay. Sure. So 16 FinFET Plus, uh, naturally, everything Caliber certified. Uh, the highlight we had, and we talked about in our session, is extraction. Extraction, as Robbie said, FinFETs are different. They react differently, and our product offering has a full field solver. Full, full field solver lets you get the accuracy you need to truly be able to optimize the fins mm -hmm. in the transistor and make that work as best as possible. So we worked quite well with TSMC to tune um, the new rules. So in essence, we had to help as a, as a group, us and the other ecosystem partners had to rewrite kind of certification specs to handle FinFETs. Okay. And, and to get that, and then set a new set of accuracy that, uh, frankly, in my age, I didn't think we'd ever have to hit. But uh, we did it as, as an organization. The Caliber product is certified, and so that gives people another option instead of going all the way to 10, but staying at 16 and having a, a, basically a midlife kicker on the product offering. Okay, speaking of 10, and uh, let's talk a little bit about the um, 10 nanometer certification. Caliber now allows designers to specify color assignments for 10 nanometer rules compliance. What is the advantage to that enhancement? Yeah. So we've been working a lot with coloring. I mean, if we would talk to, go back to 20 nanometer, it was colorless, but realistically the tools under the hood had to color, mm -hmm. right, to make sure it was compliant. So what we've done is we've brought that out into the open now at 10 nanometer because you have three colors. So the, the, the designer has to be involved in both coloring the design and the fill. 
So what we presented at, the, at our session today was a co-presentation with TSMC on how to handle filling. How to handle filling based on how do you color it, because now it not only has to be the right level for planarity for, mar for manufacturing, but it has to be color balanced and density balanced because you have multiple mass now. You have double, you, know, you have alley alley, you have a bunch of other different double patterning mass that you have to match up. So how do you do that, keep the databases down and still be able to run change orders because designers change their mind is what we talked about. So that's a solution we had TSMC do it. For uh, LVS, we had Oracle Talk. Oracle Talk about hierarchy. Now if you're gonna color, you have to control hierarchy all the way through the design. So with, with the Mentor solution, that's Calibre LVS. And that then sets you up to be able to talk to the rest of the designs, like simulation, like, uh, like uh, analysis, like extraction, which is where Ravi's team comes in. So um, there's been some additional enhancements with your uh, AFS specific to the 10 nanometer FinFET. Can you expand a little bit on that? Sure, so the 10 nanometer FinFET node, uh, typically uh, uh, at every node you'll have a, a model for the semiconductor device. In this case for the FinFET uh, nodes, these are called BSIM CMG. Uh, these are models originally developed from the UC Berkeley BSIM modeling group and then approved by the Compact Modeling Council. Um, for the 10 nanometer node, you have a more complicated device. What that means inside these models are there are more equations to represent the physics of the semiconductor. Those equations need to be accurately modeled in the simulator. And so for the 10 nanometer node, we've made enhancements to the BSIM CMG uh, model support, as well as supporting the TMI, the TSMC modeling interface, so that customers can get the improved and accuracy that's needed at this node. One of the key challenges here is you have a lot more equations, but you don't really have a lot more time to do a lot more simulation. So you actually have to optimize to, for performance of the simulator without giving up accuracy. Mm -hmm. And so that's where a lot of the key investments have gone in towards this node. Very nice, very nice. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen, thank you so much uh, for joining me today. Are you going to be at ARM TechCon? Yes, we are. I'm going to see you there. <laughs> Great. Yeah. For these gentlemen, Michael, Michael Bueller, Garcia, Robbie Subramanian, my name is Sean O'Kane. We'll see you next time on Chip Estimate TV.